In this video, let me consider one numerical on source transformation. Determine current through 12 ohm register in the circuit shown below using source transformation. This is the given circuit. We are supposed to find the current through 12 ohm register using source transformation. Let me redraw the circuit. So this is the given circuit and we are supposed to find the current through 12 ohm register that is say I. Let I be the current which flows through 12 ohm register. So here we can see that there is a 30 amp current source is in parallel with 4 ohm register. We can convert this current source into voltage source by applying source transformation. By doing that this voltage source this voltage source will come in series with the transformed voltage source and these two registers will be in series so that we can easily reduce the network further. So let me convert this current source into voltage source. Let me write here convert current to voltage. So we know that V is equal to I into R. Here I is 30 into R is 4. So the voltage source will be 120 volt. We supposed to replace this current source by 120 voltage source and we supposed to connect this 4 ohm register in series with voltage source. Let me redraw the circuit. So here I can redraw the circuit that is this is 12 ohm. So here we have 24. plus 240 volt and here there is 60 volt voltage source in series with 2 ohm. So now we are supposed to replace this current source by voltage source. The direction of the voltage source should be such that the head end of the arrow should be plus and tail end supposed to be minus the magnitude of this is 120 volt that we have solved here and this the same register will come in series with this this is 4 ohm we are supposed to connect this 4 ohm register in series with voltage source so this end will be connected as it is and there is a old current source of 48 amp in between so this is 48 amp so now let so now here we can observe that 60 volt and 120 volt are in series. Look at the polarities plus minus here it is plus minus. So these two will be added up. Similarly 2 and 4 are in series. Those two can be replaced by single register of magnitude 2 plus 4 that is 6. Let me redraw the circuit here. I can further reduce this as. So here we have 12 ohm. I'll keep this 24 and 240 as it is. This is 24 and here we have 240 volt. So let me draw the voltage source of magnitude plus minus 180 volt because 160 plus 120 is 180 and the register will come in series that is 6 ohm. So in between these two nodes there is a current source of magnitude 48 amp. So now further here we can see that 120 volt and 6 are in series. Similarly these two 24 and 240 volt are in series. Let me convert this into current source as well as this into current source that is convert this into voltage to current similarly convert this as voltage to current so we know that i is equal to so here we know that i is equal to v by r so v is 180 divided by r is 6 which is equal to 30 amp so for here we can see that I is equal to V is 240 divided by 
24 which is 10 amp let me redraw the circuit so this 12 ohm is connected as it is this is 12 ohm and here we have current source look at the polarity plus minus means head end is plus this is plus this is minus the magnitude of this is 10 amp we have the same register of 24 ohm is connected in parallel with this this is 24 so in between this node and this node we have a 48 amp that is this is 48 and here we have a voltage current source is 30 amp we have replaced this 180 voltage source by current source so here this end is plus this is minus means this is like this this is 30 amp same register 6 ohm is connected in parallel so this is 6 so we have to find the current i which is through 12 ohm register now here we can observe that 10 amp for so here 10 amp and 20, 48 amp are in same direction so addition of these two will be 10 plus 48 is 58 and we have 30 amp current source its direction is down and 30 amp current source is up direction so these two are opposite to each other so we have to take the difference let me redraw the circuit this so let me draw the 12 ohm as it is and here we have a current source of magnitude that is 10 plus 48 is 58 and minus 30 that is 28 the direction is downward direction because the magnitude of downward is major compared to upward direction therefore let me draw the circuit that is current source of magnitude 28 amp so now here we can see that 24 and 6 are in parallel we have to take the equivalent resistance of this that is r equivalent will be 24 into 6 divided by 24 plus 6 so we will get it as which will be 4.8 so let me draw the 4.8 this is 4.8 Ohm. so now let me call it as i so now we'll directly find the current by applying current division rule that is by applying current division rule therefore i is equal to that is current through 12 ohm register is equal to as we know the current will flow like this part of the current will flow here part of the current will flow here let me call it as x let me find x first that is x is equal to 28 into opposite resistor that is 4.8 divided by sum of these two registers that is 16.8 so solving this we'll get 28 into 4.8 divided by 16.8 it will be 8 amp so therefore we can say that i is equal to minus 8 amp because i and x are opposite to each other so here i will be minus 8 amp this is the final result thank you for watching